folks. <sighs> Got a Coors here today. I'm pretty excited about drinking this Coors. <sighs> so good. It says proudly on it right there. Banquet. It's the banquet beer. It's the kind of beer you put out at a banquet, apparently. Having a good, you know, family get together, having a little banquet. Someone brought, you know, like uh, some casserole, you know, they got some lasagna over there. Someone brought some sort of weird paste like thing. Go try it, but, you know, it's not going to be good. But it got some coors. It's going to be all right. Every time I get one of these 24 ounce coors cans, the can is different. I've never seen a can change so much. Like, it changes every couple of months, I want to say. I mean, this thing's got writing all over it. Adolf Coors. Adolf. Yeah, the guy who made Coors was German. Uh, his name was also Adolf, like Adolf Hitler, but it's spelled different. Adolf Coors is spelled A D O L P H, not A D O L F. And, you know, it's got, you know, just all this, the Golden Banquet Beer, uh, Golden Colorado. <sighs> Does it say what year? Oh, this is the special commemorative heritage can. Uh, I, like it. I like it's got this thing select on it. See, it says select with the stars above it. That looks pretty cool. It's got Adolf Coor, Coors. Golden Colorado. It doesn't say what year. You think it was a heritage can, they'd say, but still good. What I'm here for? Oh, I went to locals today. I played two tournaments as a UDS. Got destroyed in the UDS. Not really destroyed, just, you know, a lot of zoo in it. And then I played the other local tournament. I had to miss round one because I was still in the UDS. But then I won rounds two, three, and four, and I topped, so. I entered the regular tournament and just destroyed everything. A couple dinosaur decks and a Zodiac. Yeah, that Zodiac got crushed. Anyways, I'm here for this! The most worthless set ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. And what I mean by that is uh, there's nothing in value in it. The most expensive card is like maybe $2 at best. This, of course, Pendulum Evolution was a structure deck over an OCG. I can't remember the official reason why they decided to make it a box set, but uh, it's still pretty cool. Uh, I really like the monsters in here. It's just unfortunate that Pendulum's basically going away with Link Summoning coming out in uh, about three weeks here in uh, TCG. Um, pendulums are just gone. They just they won't function too well. I mean, you'll still be able to play them sometimes. It'll be interesting to see if anyone keeps going with Pendulums. I don't think anybody will, honestly, at least that wants to be very successful in terms of topping. I'm playing with ABC, and I've been discovering that it is possible to continue ABC with Link Summoning. You just have to change the way your deck runs. No longer will it be a Tsukiyomi set for make Buster thing. It will be now make Deco Talk or make Buster and have three or four hand traps, uh, which is a different way to play. You know, that's what's going on on OCG. OCG doesn't believe in regular traps anymore. They mainly believe in hand traps. Uh... Most OCG decks I see that are topping now that aren't true Draco, or even some true Draco, are running 10 to 12 hand traps, and they side in more sometimes. They actually go up to 15. Uh, a lot of times they side hand traps out for different hand traps, but regardless, hand traps are going to be a massive problem. I, I'm guessing that eventually, in OCG in particular, regular, good old, you know, what color, pink, I always thought traps were pink. Some people call them a different color. I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. It's obviously pink to me will just go extinct and even in TCG we're not we're not seeing many decks that have more than like seven traps if you've got more than seven traps you're playing an older school deck most of the time ABC is probably the last deck that was like hey I'll run ten traps but anyways I'm gonna go over there and open this up and uh, I really like the cards in it I like some of the reprints too uh, that I haven't seen in a while like, I think Dragon Pit Magician is a super rare in this a, Cl a Clyfort Monolith was actually reprinted for the first time, and this is a super rare. And I don't know how much the secret rare is, but I know the secret rare for a long time was like over 35 40 bucks. And now to hear that the super rare print of it, which you would assume a card that expensive would be like 10 bucks, even as a super, uh, it's worth like a dollar. So what the hell is going on here? 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to take this over yonder, right over yonder, and I'm going to get some more beer. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to open this up, and even though there's nothing of value in there, I'm going to have some fun, and let's all make sure that we get drunk! Alright, let's get in here. Got the beer, got this Pendulum Evolution. It says uh, Mystifying Magicians, which is true. Uh, so weird how they did this. It was a structure deck now. It's a box set. Um, this how many how many of these have they made now? Like seems like every other like every month. Next month they got another one. They got it's going to be a hot hot set though compared to this. It's going to have Minerva, Omega, Trishula, Crystal Wing. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, what am I looking to get out of this? Nothing really. Um, I'm gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be tough for me to sort them out because they're just all supers and ultras. You know, I, I don't really like that. But you know, I'm gonna see what's going on. Tell you what, it's hot as hell right now. It's damn ten o'clock at night, and I'm sweating profusely through my shirt and through my beer hat. I'm struggling with this plastic off, and it's with that weird Seattle uh, summer weather where just all of a sudden it will just turn up to ninety some degrees for like two days then out of nowhere it'll go back down to like 60 something and it'll be pouring down rain that's what they said it's gonna be happening all right here we go let's see if i can make the full pendulum i heard it's possible to make this whole deck out of one box all right here we go i don't know how i'm going to separate these cards in terms of what i'm going to show on the camera oh they're right at the front of the ultra wow time star magician is this a new guy i'm pretty sure i've never seen him before yeah, he is. Yeah, what am I thinking? This is an XYZ monster. Two level four magician pendulum monsters. Must first be XYZ summoned with the above XYZ materials. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Add to your deck one dark spellcast type monster from your deck, graveyard, or face it from your extra deck. Once per turn, if a pendulum monster cards in your monster's own pendulum, it will be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can send one spellcast type monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. Whoa, what the hell? That's a hell of a good effect there. Holy hell. Wow. That's that's damn good. Doesn't have to detach for that. Oh, wait a minute. You get two ultras? I didn't know that. We also got Star Pendulum Graph. Your opponent cannot target spellcaster type monsters you control with spell cards or effects. If a face-up mon magician pendulum monster cards... Uh, Leaves your monster zone or pendulum zone. Add one magician pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of star pendulum graph once per turn. Wow. I'm just going to make piles of the altars. See which one I get the most. Just see if I can even do that. And then we got Ritual Beast Tamer. Oh, finally the Metal Foes Fusion Monsters. Looks like they're getting some super stuff there. Master Pendulum was a super good meta card there for a while. Oh, I thought you only got one ultra rare per box. I mean, for pack. Here's another one. We got, uh... White Wing Magician. They're always a little scared to put white on anything because they always make sure the white cards are weak because they don't want to be called racist. Uh, man, these cards look so good. Jesus. So it's Pendulum Effect. Once per turn, when an activated card or effect resolves, that targets a dark But What? It's a white, but it's helping the dark? Konami's really thinking about diversity. Good for them. Targets a dark spell capture monster you control, negate that effect, and then destroy this card. That's pretty cool, though, really. I really like that, that they're having... Uh, it's a wind type. It's not a light uh, attribute, I mean. Uh, that's really neat that they're having uh, different attributes protect other attributes. Huh. This card's always treated as a Synchro Dragon card. What? If, if this Pendulum Summon card is treated, used for a Synchro Summon... Banish it. Man, it's a level 4 pen, uh, tuner, too? Wow. Ooh, double iris magician. This guy looks cool. He's got two different color eyes, like an odd eyes. Uh, once per turn, you can target one dark spellcaster type monster you control. Apply this effect to it, then destroy this card. Once applied, double any battle damage to that monster you fixed to your opponent this turn if it battles an opponent's monster. First always trade is a pendulum dragon card. If this card is destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can add one pendulum graph card from your deck to your hand. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I can get them all together. So we got Stellanite, Zephrathon, Divine Strike, and there's the first Monolith. Unbelievable. Finally reprinted and not worth anything. Divine Strike. I don't remember that card being played. Wow. This is an interesting set. That's all I can tell you. Another uh, Double Iris. 
And oh, I got the same exact. Uh, I'm gonna stack them up later. You know, see which, see which ones I get. So I got three different ones right now. Summoner's Art reprint is a super. Oh, rare metal foes Bishma gear. I'm gonna save these for my buddy Rad Ryan and give them to him. And keep those off to the side for him. Summoner's Art. Summoner's Art was super expensive. It's just a rare. Oh, here's a different one. Harmonizing Magician. All face, all monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each face of Magician Pendulum Monster with a different name in your extra deck. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, they're all tuners, it looks like. Cannot be special summoned from the extra deck. Cannot be used as material for a fusion, a synchro, or XYZ summon unless all other materials are our Magician Pendulum Monster. When this card is Pendulum Summoned from the hand, you can summon one Magician Pendulum Monster from your deck and defense and accept Harmonizing Magician, but it has effects negated. Also banned when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect of Harmonizing Magician once per turn. That's pretty damn good. All these are good. Another Time Storm Magician. Metal Foes Adamante. Zafrenu. I don't even remember what rarity this guy is. Was he common? Hypno Sister. Nobody used that. Hypno Sister. Give me a break. Man, it's warm in here. Jesus Christ. Oh, here's another one. What's this one? Ooh. Time Pendulum Graph. Hmm. Another continuous card. They seem to like continuous. Your opponent cannot target spellcaster type monsters you control with trap cards or effects. You can only use the following effect of time pendulograph once per turn. You can target one magician pendulum monster card in your monster zone or pendulum zone and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. Then if the effect did not destroy two cards, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. What? Target one magician in your monster zone or pendulum zone card. Destroy them. Then if this effect did not destroy two cards... Oh, I see. It's got like a built-in clause almost. Weird. Oh, Purple Poison Magician. It's like uh, damage equals snakes. <laughs> Once per turn, if your dark spellcaster type monster battles before damage, you can activate this effect. That monster gains 1200 attack until the end, then destroy this card. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's like a whip tail. I hate whip tail, though. And it is kind of like got a whip, see? Hmm, they're into that 1200 attack for whipping monsters. Uh, this card is always straight as a fusion dragon card. I wonder what that's all about. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one face of card on the field destroyed. Wow, that's good too. I like that effect a lot, actually. Man, these are cool. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. These Unwavering Bond, a card I thought that would see a lot more play, but it just never did. And Magical Abdicator. Abductor, I mean. That card was meta for a while. Abductor. I've never seen that quite a few times. And we got another one here. What is this guy? Chronograph Sorcerer. During your main phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, take one Time Gazer Magician from your hand or deck and either place it in your Pendulum Zone or Special Summon it. You can only use this effect of Chronograph Sorcerer once per turn. Man, this is, I'm going to get some beer here. Not only is it brutally hot, but that is a lot of text i got to read for this guy's monster effect. Holy shit. Oh, God. If a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand, then you can special summon one monster from your hand. Jesus. You can banish this card you control plus four monsters from your hand, field, and or graveyard. One each with Pendulum, XYZ, Synchro, or Fusion Dragon in their names. They're all Dragon. Oh, I see why they're all called that. Special summon one Supreme King Zark from your extra deck. This is treated as a Fusion. Oh, Zark's coming out. Good. Another Time Pendulum Lithograph. There's Lecter. Lecter was meta too for a while. Master, certainly an Echo Oscillation, I remember that, but that's pretty cool. Get that down there. I guess I can put them in front of the beer. All right, you got this one, another uh, Star Pendulum Graph. Colonel Graph Sorcerer. All the Ritual Beast Tamers in here. Stargazer Magician, the original. He's always the first one I think of. Us. There's Stargazer and Time Gazer, the original. Odd Eyes Fusion is a super rare. I think that was only printed as a secret. That's crazy. Fusion Summon One Dragon type. This card was so expensive for so long. Make that Vortex. Vortex Dragon is so good. I remember losing so many games of Vortex Dragon, even with Cosmo. Like full power tier one Cosmo. Vortex Dragon come out and be like, holy shit, you gotta be kidding me. I hated Vortex Dragon. Destroying Vortex Dragon was something that was always one of the best moments of my life. We got here, we got Black Fang Magician. This guy looks buff and cool. 
He's got like wicked sideburns too. Look at those. Look at those sideburns on that guy. Just big old mutton chops almost. Once per turn you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. It attacks becomes half its current attack until the end of this turn and then destroy this card. I wonder why they're always destroying themselves. Does that have to do with the... Uh... Uh, it doesn't work with Chronograph. Because they have to be... They can't be in your extra deck. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one dark spellcast type monster in your graveyard. Special summon. Man, they all got cool effects. Time Star Magician again. Enlightenment Paladin, the cover monster for Breaker Shadow. Dragon's Mere Super, wow, I just got one of these out of Dark Relation. And a Noble Dragon Magician with a little bit of an air on the card, if you guys can see it. A little white dot. Dragon's Mere, I remember for years and years and years, it was basically just a common. I don't know if you had the Dark Relation Super. What we got here? Do we already got this one? Yeah, this is a White Wing Magician. Black Fang Magician, I might be out of them. Oh, here's Crimsonite. Time Gaze Magician, there he is. Pendulum Shift, I don't remember this card at all. Turn one card and you get the Pendulum, declare Pendulum, go from 1 to 10, this card. That, that seems like a, is that new? Is that why I haven't seen it? it? Seems good, you just randomly change your opponent's Pendulum scales. I can totally see that messing people up. Got Time Pendulum, I may have gotten all the Ultras already. Oh, nope, I did not, I spoke too soon. Astrograph Sorcerer. This is the first one that's not a... Well, he's only the second one that's not a four. What level is this guy? A seven? Man, he looks so weird. He looks like he's wearing, like, elite armor from Halo. All right, during your main phase, you can destroy this card. And if you do, take one Stargazer Magician from your hand or deck and either place it in your Pendulum Zone or Special Summon it. He only uses the effect of Astrograph Sorcerer once per turn. They're all about to destroy... They're like Wisdom Eye Magician. He must be in here, too. Uh, Spellcaster, if a card you control is destroyed, a battle or card effect, you can special summon this, man, so much tax, this card from your hand, then you can choose one monster in the graveyard, extra deck, or that is banished, wow, and that was destroyed this turn, add one monster with the same name from your deck to your hand, you can banish this card you control, plus four monsters from your hand field or graveyard, one each, Pendulum Dragon, XYZ, Synchro Dragon, Fusion Dragon, and their name, special summons one Spring King Zark from your extra deck, it's treated as a fusion summon. Huh. Oh, there's Oak Dragon. That's cool to see him as a super. Rescue Hamster. And, oh, there he is. Audox Vortex Dragon. Jesus Christ. What a behemoth. Trying to deal with this guy. When this card spells something, you can target one face of attack as your monster your opponent controls. Turn to the hand. So that was useless against Destroyer. During the player's turn, when a spell, trap card, or another monster's effect is activated, you can shuffle one face of Pendulum Monster from your extra deck back to the deck. The gate activation of you destroy that card is pretty damn good. Yeah, it was tough to get around that, even with, like, Destroyer, because they tried to negate Destroyer's effect in Grave to banish itself. It was a menace. I fought many a Vortex Dragon. Double Irish Magician, Astrograph Sorcerer. Oh, Skull Crowback Joker is reprinted as a super. He was out of a Astral Pack, I want to say, as a super. Doomstar Magician. Was this a TCG exclusive? I think it was. Dharma Eye Magician. Never got any play. I always like Skull Crowback Joker. Look how happy he is, he's jumping, he's laughing. How can you get mad at him? He is the Skull Crobat Joker. Oh my god, I can't get the last one out. Give me a sec, there we go. Alright, last one on the right side. Have I got all the Ultras? I may have. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all of them. I think there's only eight. So I have them all. I'm going to do a recap and see uh, what one I got the most of. I think right now, Double Iris, which I think is good. I think you want three of him. White Wing, Stargazer Magician, Odd Eyes Fusion, Odd Eyes Absolute. Is Meteor Dragon in here? That one was really good. I, that card, the Synchro one was highly underrated. I used that for like two months with Cosmo. It was absolutely phenomenal in the mirror match against Cosmo because you'd Synchro Summon that with Elder Antony Norton, which rest in peace is banned, and Ghost Ogre. And you would make him, and then you'd go into battle, and then your opponent's destroyers could not activate their effects. So you'd crash destroyers into each other. Your destroyer would get his grave effect, but your opponents would not. It was amazing how good Meteor Burst Dragon was. So our Pendulum Grab. Oracle is ever reprint. I think it's the first reprint of this. Pendulum Call. Oh, Pendulum Dragon's in here, of course. Pendulum Call. Man, that card's good. This card, one card. Add two Pendulum Magician monsters with... Different names from your deck to your hand. Also, until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card, magician cards in your pendulum zones cannot be destroyed by card effects. 
Yeah, that part was really annoying because Twin Twister was so good against him. And, uh, you know, it just was pretty ridiculous. But now you can Cosmic Cyclone them, you can Buster Dragon them. They don't, they're not being destroyed as much now. Astrograph Sorcerer and Harmonizing Magician. Did I have this one? Yeah, I did. There it is. Odd Ice Meteor Burst Dragon. Mad good in the Cosmo Mirror match back in the day. This card special summon. You can target one card in your pen. Summon special summon it. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn. Didn't care about that as a, pen, as a Cosmo player. Uh, monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. So good against Cosmo. So good. There's Dragon Pit Magician. He's like the old dude. It's the big one. Level 7, 2700 defense. Flavor text. Man, it is hot, hot, hot. What one's this one? We got uh, Purple Poison. <laughs> Time Pendulum Graph. Oh, another Dragon Pit Magician. Cool. Yeah, well, you can uh, use Rescue Rabbit with, uh, not Dragon Pit, but, uh, isn't there one you can use it with? Oh, there's Oricalc. This guy has cost me a lot of games playing ABC, because... When I bust up Buster Dragon, make him into three pieces, I put a, quite a few of them in defense mode. And I lost the game because this guy made Metal Foes Oricalc, and he ran my A in defense mode, and he did 5,200 damage for game. 5,200 with fucking Oricalc. I was so, like, upset with myself. I was like, dude, why didn't I see the Oricalc play? This is when Metal Foes was pretty new still. And the guy just ripped me to pieces with Oricalc. I kept losing games to Oricalc. This was before, you know... Um, uh, Mithrilium and Alkahest existed. It, this was just Oricalc and um, Crimsonite trying to do the damage. Mad good. I really like this guy, Black Fang Magician. Just this buff, pissed dude with mutton chops. P Purple Poison. Amazing Pendulum. First one of that I've gotten. Dharma Eye and Odd Eyes Pendulum. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon must be one of the most reprinted cards in recent years. I mean, it comes out like once every three months, I want to say. So, anyone need some more Odd Eyes monsters? No, for God's sake. I don't need any more. This card's really good. I really like his one effect where you just you send a magician monster from deck to grave. Spellcaster type monster, I mean. White Wing. Tuning Magician. First one of these I've gotten. She was pretty meta for a while. You, your opponent gains 400 and you take 400. Oh, there's Dragon Pulse. This is the one I was thinking of. Dragon Pulse Magician where you can... Um, this boy. I always thought this was a girl. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a boy. I thought it was a girl. What the hell? Wow. Of course, he is friends with Dragon Pit Magician. That's his master or his mentor. Wow. My bad. So, yeah, you can use Rescue uh, Rabbit with that guy. Clyde Ford Monolith. Two of them. I think Scout's in here, but no Sequilifice. Well, if I still only reprinted it once. I never count the Mega Tens ones. Is it a Mega Ten? Probably is. Uh, Harmonizing Magician and Time Star Magician. Oh, there's Wisdom Eye. One of my favorite moments ever in regional history was I was siding in um, Mind Crush at this one regional I got 10th place at in Seattle. I was siding in Mind Crushes against Wisdom Eye. And guys would play Wisdom Eye Magician and they would like, what they would do is they would take Pendulum Call or something like that. I can't remember how they were doing it, but they, one time I mind crushed, or twice I did, I mind crushed a guy for all three Wisdom Eye Magicians. He discarded all three to the grave. People were so greedy with Wisdom Eye Magician. I also got Odd Eyes, Absolute, and Time Breaker Magician. They were so greedy with Wisdom Eyes, they just did not see the mind crush coming, and you just blast them and just take all their Wisdom Eyes. It was so cool. Got Astrograph Sorcerer and Chronograph. Those guys go together, actually. Pendulum Storm, Odd Eyes Meter Burst. And this thing, this first one is that for Excidon. Zephyro and Excidon Knight. How did Evil Swarm get a uh, support? That'd be cool. I'd like to see that. Pendulum Graph, Double Iris. Zephraxi, so uh, is this the first time he's been reprinted? Maybe. Maybe in 10 he has been. Rescue Hamster. What's Rescue Hamster even do? So has Normal Summon. If this card is normal, when you have a face-up level 5 or lower pendulum monster card in your extra deck, you can tribute this card. Choose one face-up lower five or level 5 or lower pendulum monster card in your extra deck and special summon two monsters from your deck with the same name as that card, but they have their effects and getting destroyed during the end phase. So you have to pick a level 5 or a lower pendulum monster 
So two monsters with the same name. Man, it's not nearly as good as Rescue Rabbit, but sorry. No, what's the next one coming out? Rescue Ferret for Link Summoning. Rescue Cat, Rescue Rabbit, Rescue Hamster, and Rescue Ferret. Surprised they haven't made Rescue Dog. Probably too many dog cards. Star Pendulum Graph, Porpo Poison, Zephra Thuban, Metal Foes Counter, put that one over there for Rad Ryan. Zephyr Defines Reich. Brad Ryan's playing. He beat me again today. He's so fucking good. Uh, he, he's got Zodiac Metal Foes. It's basically just Zodiac. I mean, there's not much Metal Foe action coming out of that. Uh, Pendulum Graph, Metal Foes, Ori Cow, Dragon Pit Magician, or Dragon Pulse, and Doomstar Magician. Doomstar, once per turn, you can discard one card and then turn one card and you can play Pendulum and destroy that card. And if you do, draw one card. It's pretty cool. I actually really like this. Good old Doomstar. I like his artwork too. Look how cool he looks. Doomstar Magician. Yeah, it's too bad this deck isn't going to be around for very long. It's really good looking. Another beautiful deck. Whoa. Whoa. Black Fang Magician. Time Pendulum Graph. What we got here? Oh, there's Scout. This at one point was the most broken card in the game. I mean, it was bad, bad. Like... It was so good. Just pay 800 get anything you needed. It was ridiculous. You play it. Even though the only thing... I, this is the only Pendulum deck I ever played was Clyde Fort. Just because I love the play of tributing a carrier and a helix for a stealth. You bounce two cards and destroy a card and they couldn't respond unless they had a counter trap. Fucking broken, man. But Scout was so good. But one thing I hate about playing Clyde Fort is it was the most easily sideable thing ever because they would just... They would just um, side in a whole bunch of like MSTs and Twin Twisters and whatever they got to do, and they just immediately kill Scout all the time. Just always killing Scout is annoying, but, you know, it had to happen. All right, last and final pack. Last best hope. What can I get? Can I get another? Uh, hell, I don't know. Let's just see what I get. All right, Purple Poison Magician and Astrograph Sorcerer. Oh, there's another Elfil's Bismuth Gear. Put that out for us. Archfiend Eccentrics in here, too, is a super. That's cool. That's a good one to get. This is probably the best Pendulum card ever printed in terms of just how generic it is. You can put it in a non-Pendulum deck, and it's good. You know, just put it as a monster, put it as a spell. I really like Archfiend Eccentric. Really good. And Pendulum Shift. So, guys, there they all are. Let me get a counter going here. Let me see what the most we got. Okay, so... Give me a second here. It's going to be a little bit. Shove this box out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about still just playing more, um, uh, whatchamacallit, ABC even when Link Summoning comes out because it just, ABC just seems to be the deck that won't die. It just, it seems to always be a threatening, a threatening uh, archetype. Just for the way it plays and how they all, all their monsters float, you know. Man, how many are there? Is there nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's ten ultras. Wow. But looks like Purple Poison might be taking the early lead here. Oh, those these are supers. What are they doing in here? Gross. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, the only the only interesting. Damn old uh, upcoming Link deck that looks interesting to me is maybe Volet Dragon. That looks pretty cool. But even that, I don't know. Is it any good? I guess OCG will find out for me. Two double iris. Okay, let's see what I got here. So I got three Chronograph Sorcerer. Only two Harmonizing Magicians, wow. I got four White Wing Magicians. And I got five Time Star Magicians. This guy's hella good. I got, how many of these traps did I get? Five of the traps, Time Pendulum Graph. How many of the big, mean Black Fang did I get? Four. It's good. Oh. Knock some shit down. Hold up. Alright. And then I got four double iris. And then I got four star pendulum graph. 
Purple Poison, I got four. And Astrograph Sorcerer, I got five. So, by far the rarest one I got there was Harmonizer Magician. I only got two. Several I got four, but and four and five, but right there in Chronograph I only got three. But Harmonizer Magician, I got two. Uh, the winner is a tie between Time Gazer, Time Pendulum Graph, and I think that's it. Oh, Astrograph, I got five. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this box opening. Pendulum Evolution, the end of Pendulum Era, really. Interesting that this comes out so close to the end. For pendulums, maybe people will surprise me, and I'll like pendulums will still keep working here in TCG, but you know I doubt it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing, hit the subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that bell icon too. You know, for whom the bell tolls, it will let you know whenever I upload a quality video. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what one of your favorite ultras there is, or what your favorite super reprint. I think my favorite super reprint is going to be. Uh, Ooh, it sounds stupid, but probably Arch Phoenix Centric. I really love that card, even though I've lost so many games because of it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Keep cool out there. I mean, my God, I saw in Arizona, which is always the place where it's like deathly hot, that it's so hot down there that roads are buckling and wooden chairs are exploding. It's so hot that chairs are exploding. You know, I just realized... <laughs> I had more down here. I had more ultras I didn't have put in there. So anyways, whatever. What the hell ever. Uh, but yeah, so be careful if you're in somewhere hot. Like Seattle's generally the coldest hot place in the United States. People come to Seattle in the summer vacation because a lot of times our high is only like 78. While everyone else's high is like 98. Plus we have no humidity here, which is really nice. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate y'all watching, and thanks for the kind comments some of y'all leave for me. And I uh, hope to catch y'all soon. I'll see you in a couple days. All right, peace!